Prince William works out with mums from Prince George's kindergarten after school drop off, report says. Being friendly with other parents is William's way of giving George an ordinary childhood. Prince William and Kate Middleton may be the future king and queen of the United Kingdom, and they may live in a palace schmooze with world leaders at state dinners and occasionally feel compelled to beat off tabloid reports about the health of their marriage. But when it comes to their three young children, William and Kate try to lead a fairly normal, low-key existence in order to give George, Charlotte and Louis remarkably ordinary childhoods, family friends have told Vanity Fair in a new report. Take for example the couple's day-to-day -day lives around Prince George and his school. The Prince, five, is more than halfway through year one at Thomas's Battersea, a co-ed school in South London. The school, for children ages 4 to 13, emphasizes a be-kind rule, while offering a broad curriculum that includes classes in art, ballet, drama, French and music. That the school cares about instilling in students a strong sense of social responsibility probably appealed to William and Kate. After all, George and his siblings are heirs to the British throne with George now third in line after his father and grandfather, Prince Charles. But what probably also appeals to William and Kate is that George seems happy there, with very little fuss made about who he is, a school parent told Vanity Fair. The little prince goes by the nickname P.G. In their attempt to keep things low-key and normal, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge regularly participate in school drop-offs, a daily ritual of parents around the world. When doing so, the royal couple don't put on airs, the parent told Vanity Fair. Either William or Kate do drop off, and they are always very friendly, the parent said. In fact, William goes out of his way to just be one of the dads and to be social with the other mothers and fathers, the parent added. William particularly loves to have a chat with some of the other parents, and he works out with some of the mums at the Harbour Club after drop off. The parent said. He's very chatty and amiable. The Harbour Club is a glitzy fitness center with three locations in London that offers exercise classes, swimming, tennis and spa treatments. William and Kay try to keep things low-key in other ways, such as when they get away from Kensington Palace in London to Anmer Hall, their country estate in Norfolk, Vanity Fair reported. There, the family loves to spend as much time outdoors as possible including in the home's walled garden, which contains fruit orchards and vegetable plots, Vanity Fair said. George and Charlotte are always outside helping dig or plant something, Vanity Fair said. During school holidays, the family also enjoys trips to the beach and to local farm parks. On Saturday, the public got a rare sighting of the family on one of their country outings. The Cambridges attended the Burnham International Horse Trials in Norfolk to watch William's cousin Zara Phillips Tindo participate in the event, L reported. The Daily Mail got photos of William carrying Tindo's daughter Mia on his shoulders. Meanwhile, Kate carried Charlotte on her shoulders and George rode atop cousin Mike Tindo. The photos also showed George carrying a toy sword. Vanity Fair reported that the Cambridges are probably especially grateful for low-key family time right now, following reports about a particular sensational rumor that has electrified British high society for almost a year, according to the Daily Beast. The rumor made its way into mainstream media publications in the past two weeks. The rumor, which is unsubstantiated but persistent, is that William may have become too friendly or even had an affair, with an aristocratic neighbor in Norfolk while Kate was pregnant last year with Louis. The Daily Beast said that ongoing reports about the rumor have likely become a matter of grave concern behind palace walls. The Daily Beast also said that royal lawyers have sent a cease and desist letter to at least one UK publication that reported on the rumor. Royals traditionally have stood in silence about salacious reports about their personal lives. But William and Kate have previously taken legal action when they think a publication has gone too far, as when they sued a French publication for posting topless paparazzi shots of Kate in 2012, Refinery29 reported. If William and Kate are moving against publications over the cheating rumor, it may be because it is particularly hurtful to her. Refinery29 said. But the Daily Beast also noted, it is not entirely surprising that the palace should be alarmed at a story which invites comparisons to Prince Charles' adulterous relationship with Camilla Parker Bowles while he was married to Diana.